So you think you're human? What the hell ever gave you that idea? There's a strong, broad opening statement. Let me explain it to you. Just one second. <clears throat> it's 8.03 a.m. Tuesday, July 11th, 7-11, 2017. One guy one time got pissed that I held this thing up to show you what time it is. This guy really thinks that his words are that important and he's so important and everything, blah, blah, blah. Dude, go frack yourself. Uh, what I do is for other people. The reason why I do that is for you. It sure as hell ain't for me. Uh, as I wake up and, and become more, I change. I become more than I've ever been in a body. The same thing is slowly happening to all of you, but as soon as you wake up, you can experience the depth of it, understand it, actually, truly start to become more of yourself than you've ever been able to before in a physical body. So I do it for you. So if you don't like it, stand on your head and frack yourself to death, man. I'm sick of the idiots. Um, not being aware does not make you an idiot. Having the information brought to you and you continually beat it down, and there's some very, very few people who do it. Man, y'all can just stay ignorant the rest of your life. Everything I do, I do to help others. Everything, animals, people, plants, planets, but I have these video, um, this, these video channels to access you, uh, to give you information for free. Yeah, I write books and stuff. Yeah, I s sell stones that I crank up, uh, and they make money to keep me going. There's stupid things that you know other people don't have to deal with that I do. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh yeah, doctor bills, um, medicine. Uh, car insurance, uh, truck repairs, house repairs, you know, no one else has those. I just uh, need money uh, for my selfish needs. Um, it's only now that I'm so close to finally dumping this damn uh, vehicle that my spirit's been driving, and, um, driving around in, trying to. Can't even get off the ground. It's like a, an eagle that can't, or a hawk that can't fly. That's what it's like being in a body. <sighs> Morning, folks. I'm here to be myself in that I'm doing what I what I do. And finally, I'm so close to being able to dump this body and get the hell out of here and be myself. Then I go to work. Excuse me. There's so many wonderful people out there, but there's so many other people that are going to come later on and get this information. You'll be brought to it. Those of you that have listened to me that don't have your head up your ass can figure out real easily there's no whoopie doo jay. I haven't lived in the state of poverty even when I was bringing money in all over the place to help others. I haven't done that because I want something for myself. I like my coffee. I like a little wine. Um, hell, um, sometimes I'll have uh, uh, buy a nice bottle of alcohol. Uh, some scotch or some... Uh, Whiskey, tequila, I'm not a druggie, I'm not an alcoholic, <coughs> and I'm not completely vegan, which I'd like to be, but I'm doing everything I know that I need to do to get the hell out of here so I can do what, I'm, what I was made to do. But my spirit was born. And it's for everyone and everything. Y'all are going to have 
be footloose, fancy free, do whatever you want, as long as you're not abusing anyone. That's what that's what you would do in a spirit inside the body. You have to have uh, councils of councils of some sort to govern basically the flow of uh, events in your physical bodies while you're having a life in a physical body. You have to have some type of organization to it. Things, the water, the river has to have a push and it's got to have something to contain it enough to let it flow. But being in these physical bodies containing it, that's hard. I told you before, come 2020, you're going to have so much of the abuse taken out of your life, uh, 72 to 78% of the abuse taken out of your life. When you have your, when 2,000 years from now, when you have your uh, energetic bodies, uh, you're going to have very little uh, abuse at all in your life anymore. The frustration you have in your life, even after the, the strong stuff has been taken away, would be nothing. 27%. Twenty-eight percent. It's time for you to understand who the hell you are. Jay's frustrated. He's aggressive. Oh hell yes, I'm aggressive. I'm aware. I know what I am, who I am, what I'm doing here. I've been fighting stuff on the other side 24-7 for going on nine years now. Viciously. <laughs> Little kittens. It should be up. <coughs> Excuse me. It should be obvious that I don't much care about uh, what other think what other people think about me but um, that they understand the words the the message the information I'm trying to give them it's not that I don't care about you it's not that what you say doesn't mean anything it does it's just that I don't matter my job does and if you think I'm lying to you fine if you really want to wake up, the more you do, the more you're going to find truth in what I'm telling you. That's all. There's stone everywhere around you. I've helped you understand what that is. I've put together spheres and different kits <coughs> that I put a part of myself into to help enhance your awakening to help you. I mean, damn it, I'm cooking breakfast for you. What do you want? Um, I realize there's a lot of people that have come here and they stay here on this channel because you can understand because you're very strong. Because although you know better than anyone else, just as I'm not, you are special in the fact that you have beautiful heart energy, you care, and you want to go somewhere with, with yourself. You don't even understand it yet. <coughs> Damn, excuse me. But you were, I don't mean to be gross, folks. I'm just sick. But uh, you were put in a body to be here for 2012. December 21st, 2012. Winter Solace. Solstice, excuse me. Um, and you were literally supposed to help everyone understand... Praise the Mother, Father, God, just the way Sylvia Brown was doing. Sylvia Brown wasn't a bad person. <coughs> we all have issues when we're in a body. And it's been done to us. You, The next life you have will be so much unlike the life that you had. So much easier, so much better than the life you've had now. Why? Because... The necessary things were taken care of. That's all. The next time you walk down aisle nine, you don't have to worry about stepping on broken glass and hurting your foot because it got cleaned up. 
You don't have to worry about somebody being in that aisle and pushing you around because they've been taken out. Just got to remind you to calm down. Folks, I've been working my ass off a long time trying to give you the information you need to realize that you are literally spirit. What I'm talking to out there, what's hearing me is spirit. Sentient energy. That gets put in a body to have a life. If you drive around a Chevrolet, a Cadillac, a Nissan, a BMW, you are not a BMW. You are sentient spirit inside a physical body. The body is your vehicle. Doesn't matter what color the skin is. Doesn't matter what religion you happen to be in. It doesn't mean who you're paying taxes to. It doesn't mean your job. <coughs> Excuse me. We have a set of physical situations we have to go through when we're in a body. And right now that's changing more and more. What are you going to do when you're, you have to jumpstart into the next thought process which is oh we're gee we're not alone we're one planet in in a huge universe and there's so many planets that are out there there's trillions of planets with life on them and most of them are flying around in starships we're not we're in a big playground folks and we're in the sandbox playing with little plastic shovels and buckets okay that doesn't mean anything bad where it's just at that point a young child is born today. Well, someone's an adult taking care of it. So the adult's better than the child? No. It's an entrance into the third dimension that makes one think this or that. I mean, it's stupid. Don't worry about it. What matters is who you are, where you are, and what you do for yourself. Hopefully, some of what you do for yourself is helping others. And yes, that's doing something for yourself. When I do something to help something, I feel wonderful. There's no money that can replace that. That's stupid. For me, it is. And I'm not calling anyone stupid. If you hit yourself in the head with a hammer and it hurts and you do it again, then you do it again, and then someone comes up, stop doing that, you're going to hurt yourself. And you say, yes, I know, and then you hit yourself again, you're stupid. Until you've got to that point, no, you're not. All of you, <coughs> excuse me, all of you are spirit, a.k.a. sentient energy that's put inside a physical body. And you've had another spirit put in there with you. That was done to make your life difficult and their life difficult. The spirit... The other spirit put in your body isn't isn't just another regular person. It's a piece of planetary essence broken off from Gaia, the female um, universal essence or planetary essence that was put on this planet <coughs> a very long time ago, and a million and a quarter years ago. That part of uh, that part of her split off and was never to go back inside her. And then they will put inside a body, physical body first, and then you will put in. And I've explained that before, but I'm going to tell you again. Um, those of you that uh, uh, have been listening to me for years, um, I apologize for the fact I'm saying it again, but we, we need to understand there's new people coming. You all need to know this about yourselves. You need to know who the hell you are. A male and a female get together, egg, sperm, create a uh, embryo. The embryo starts to grow, become a physical body. As soon as it has the basic brain, the, the nerves come together enough to where there's a basic brain, then uh, the, the planetary, a piece of the planetary essence that was broken off from Gaia a little over 11 quarter million years ago, it literally is put into, one of them is put into the body. And then, you, and then it sits there for a little while, and then female source comes up, she takes her energy like a wall, like a hand, and pushes, goes up to the head, and pushes 
that spirit to the left side of the brain and then puts you in on the right hand side, closes off the head, closes off the body, starts the flow of this two spirits through the body, and then boom. That's how a soul or um, essence or source gets put in a body. <clears throat> Sometimes you have a problem with indecision. Where the hell do you think it comes from? The two parts of you argue. It's like I'm arguing with myself. Most true thing anything I ever said, huh? Yes, you are. The two parts, the two people, the two drivers in the car are fighting over the steering wheel. The body being the car. I've been saying for years, you all have no idea how cool you are. And you don't. A few of you do, but... Most of you don't. And when you do realize that it's the neatest thing in the world. Sometimes it pushes you to the to the edge of arrogance. You know, fine, do it. Go And then as soon as you do that, if you have hard energy in you and you get to that point, you back yourself back. It's just like getting too close to an edge, but uh, a cliff. Well, you might want to see what's down there and everything, but it's not really too close unless you fall over. Don't go near a cliff, please. Of. I've told you how to find a, how to find help in becoming yourself and understanding yourself and then understand those around you. It's important that you learn those of you that are leaders to to learn to help others once you finish learning yourself. And it happens quick. Boom, boom, boom. Two years, you are totally wide awake, walking around, it's like, holy crap. Um, and you have to quit doubting yourself, for Pete's sake. The stronger you are, and the more important you are to the awakening, the more you've been made not to trust yourself, so it would be easier to control you. That was what the original first being, male and female. The two halves of the original first being. That's how they set it up. They were using the first angels. Original first being, male and female, dead, permanently, gone forever, deleted. Uh, the original first angels, almost all of them, completely deleted. You don't have that hanging over you anymore. Doesn't matter who did it, what happened, they're gone. Okay? Boom. That's so why I said your next lives that you have, you're literally going to be uh, you're literally going to be free of all the contaminants you've had in this life growing up, especially at a younger age. <coughs> Good stuff, man. Uh... This is a real boiler maker. For the, uh, it's a drink called a boiler maker or something. Probably a couple of them. I think it's uh, some kind of alcohol, some, a shot of alcohol and a uh, big mug of beer or something. I don't know. Probably, oh, probably a few different types. Uh, for me, a boiler maker is uh, four shot. Let's see, four shots of espresso with uh, some. Uh, Chowa tea, C H O slash W A. You can get it on Amazon.com. That's where I get it. Um, Chowa tea. And some uh, for the uh, sweetening, I use uh, stevia. I think it's called pure stevia. Anyway. And then you follow it with grapefruit juice. That mixes in your gut. Um, anyway. The more you play with stone, <coughs> the more you play around with stone, it is. It's playing, enjoying it, appreciate appreciating it, and learn to appreciate yourself. Those of you that have heart, be proud of yourself or have be, be happy that you have it and be proud of everything you do that's not just nice to you but others around you. That's power. You're, you're taught the opposite. 
The other side doesn't want you strong. Sylvia Brown uh, used to talk about uh, the two colors that the original male and female, mother, father, God, as she'd say, um, the two colors they didn't like on the other side was red and black. Then she said what she was told to say, because what she was told to know. Her angel was going inside the top of her head, through the uh, upper crown, middle crown, lower crown, right into the hypothalamus. She believed everything she was saying, and it was her angels saying it. Her primary archangel. And she said that they don't like those colors because red is close to anger, and then black is anger itself. Wrong. Wrong. The reason why they didn't care for those colors... First off, let me explain I'm not liking those colors. <clears throat> when you're not, when you're your actual self, when you are who you really are, spirit, who you really are inside, you are spirit, sentient energy. That's who you are. When you're not stuck in the body and you're out floating around on the other side, when you show, when your aura starts building up very strong red, deep red, that's love. That's literally love. Love fights abuse. It makes you strong enough to go away from abuse. It pushes abuse away. You, you, when you do that, you push abuse away from you. <coughs> Tell me love's not powerful. Kiss my grits. And black. Black is anger. Everyone's taught black is bad. Kiss my grits again, would you? This is sick. When you take your energy, your frequencies, and you build them up, okay, and you build up your power, it looks light charcoal black. That's why they didn't like seeing it. And when you're putting out love on the other side, when you're in a body and you're putting out love, you're helping others. You're taking away abuse. You're fighting abuse. They want all of you to be abused. They wanted all of you to be abused so that you'd grow bigger and bigger and then they could use you, put the two parts of your spirit together, your spirit mate, put you with your spirit mate and then in, when you went to release, uh, put you in a new universe, December 21st, 2012, 2012, they put you in a new universe and then when you release a third of your energy instead of releasing a, um, a million beings, just these are small numbers, but just say instead of releasing a million beings, you release a billion beings. So there's more praise machines to worship them. Then black is you powering up to fight whatever's bugging you. And they were the ones bugging you. The more abused you are when you come out of a body. When you come out of a body, your spirit grows. The more abused you are, the more you grow when you get out. Well, you, you think there's insanity around you? Folks, you're in it. This creation is insane the way it's made. And the more you wake up, this is something where I was going earlier, why it's so important for you to wake up. You're about to find out that this life from other planets that have been here and coming here, and now they're going to be here walking the streets. Then you're going to find out that this spirit that can come out of nowhere, pull itself together, make a physical body, shake your hand, and then go back in energy and float away. The more you understand about yourself, the more you understand about the truth of what is, the better you're going to handle that, the better your life's going to be. I am what I am. I know. I understand. I'm about to go home, go to work, something I've been waiting to do since the very first life that my better half and I had. It's so hard for people that aren't awake to have any, to believe anything that I say except for those that have hard energy and they actually feel. A lot of people I talk to, their skin, they start getting goosebumps. That's your spirit guides telling you, listen to this guy, this is true. Look at the, uh, what do they call it? Synchronicity of what's happening to you after having heard his words. They're giving you a message. Folks, I'm the old man. I'm the oldest thing there's ever been. 
I'm a powerhouse. I was made like that to serve and protect everything. I was supposed to serve the, the great mother, father, God. Take care of them, take care of what they build, and then beat up any new beings, first beings that come out of the first dimension. As soon as I started having lives, I said, well, beating up something coming out of the first dimension? No, that ain't going to happen. Number one and two I'm okay with. And then finally, uh, that changed. I only exist for everything. You don't have to understand it. You don't have to like it. <clears throat> I care if you understand it. I don't care if you don't like it. Uh, it'd be good if you do because it'll it'll be enough for you to understand as a reason to listen to more of what I said, uh, to understand the books. I've written books, put out uh, DVDs, taught you about Stone. Oh, he's in it for the money. Money that I've used to help other people, to help animals, to help plants and trees. I don't have money uh, coming in like I used to. Hell, I'm, it's a good thing I'm used to not having any money because I don't. The money that Deanna makes is going into fixing this house, which is about to be hers. And everything else so she can live in it. People can't hardly live like I do. And there's people that live a lot worse. I understand that. There are people being tortured. There's people that have life worse than me. But everything that comes in goes out. Because I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want money. I want Money's a tool. I want to use it to do what I need to do. No, that's not buy a new phone every six months. <laughs> Stone energy is so important to you. I'm just looking right now. I have to have, I don't know, somewhere between 120 and 150 different containers of stones just right here that I use on spheres. I've showed it on the picture, but you can't see the whole thing. And then there's more all over the floor, <laughs> if you were else. Star Essenite, strongest stone on this planet. It's on the ground. You can find it in Georgia. There's other places in the world you can find it too. Folks, it's here for something. It's here for you. To fire up your core energy. It's supposed to be here to help you understand the great glory of the Mother, Father, God, and their dad. It's here to wake you up. Jay, I know that there's uh, something I'm here to do, and I just don't know what it is. Uh, there's a frustration in there. Yeah, there is. You were supposed to be here to help people understand, praise Mother, Father, God, and guess what? As soon as they were killed, destroyed, completely deleted, that all went away. And that left you feeling a void inside you. If you ask me anything, I can explain it. Why? I'm the world's... I'm not the world's greatest bullshit artist or whatever. I help you see things, and there it is. I see things as energy. I was made to serve and protect what I really am inside, not this body. Not the beat up rusty body I'm about to get out of. And yes, that was a truck, not a not a Ferrari. It's so frustrating sometimes. Fighting with stuff. Stuff tries to help me on the other side, doing it the wrong way, and they won't listen to me. And then they, then we have a short conflict. Uh, that you know, that's wrong for me. Um, 
Folks, any of us, all we can do is what we can, and I'm doing everything I can. It is so important to you for you to become yourself. You relax, you enjoy stones, you're at your house relaxing. Where's the J in there? It's not. The field is a part of me. It goes through everything. It's there to help. A fish is not the ocean. A fish is the, the water in the ocean. The fish is the fish. You're all spirit, man. Sentient energy. You're all the cool as hell. You've been through shit all your lives. And the first fault that has to go to is the original first being male and female. And the second person to fault for that is me. So where's the whoopie doo J? It's not there. There's a certain loneliness in being the one person that can actually see this stuff. Just that. As I was saying, there's a certain loneliness in understanding this, seeing this, being the one who can see all this, and other people can't, but a lot of them are starting. Uh, I don't mind people thinking I'm nuts. That's fine. I need to leave the information because they're going to keep breaking up until they understand I'm not. But it doesn't matter anyway because it doesn't have a damn thing to do about me. Other than the fact that I've been doing stuff. <clears throat> There's people that still think uh, I don't have the ability to go into people's brains and their bodies and change them even though I've left every physical kind of evidence you could want except for what's being done now with scientists. And then still people won't believe it. God wouldn't let it be so. God wouldn't let it be. They're holding on to something that doesn't work and they don't care because that's all they know. That's all they want to know. I understand this. It's simple and there's nothing to prove because there's no God. You can't talk to it anyway. So I'm sticking with this. I have the word, the Bible, or the Quran, or the whatever, all this other bullshit books. They're all full of shit. Your lives have been controlled from the other side every time you've ever been in a body. That's what runs things. It's not you. You make simple decisions in your life, but you told you to do what you want to do. Angels, the first angels, they would take their energy, put it through the upper crown, middle crown, lower crown, into the hypothalamus area and actually run you like a puppet. And when they did that, you knew you were doing the right thing. People are worried about being more this, more that. You're already the coolest thing there could be. You just can't see it yet. I remember when I was uh, starting to wake up a long time ago. Uh, I talked with uh, Chris DeFron, Sylvia Brown's uh, son, one of her sons or something. <coughs> and... Um, he and I argued a little bit. <laughs> um, it's not that he couldn't see anything. Um, he saw that Black Panther was my primary spirit animal, which that's the one that was with me first. Um, he saw my spirit guide was Robert. Uh, Robert uh, Patrick or Kirkpatrick or something, the Reverend, uh, from the book... Uh, um, the Private World of Fairies, uh, a private journal of Robert Kirkpatrick or whatever. It was him. He talked with the Fae. But uh, he got mad when I talked to, uh, when I mentioned his, uh, his mom's spirit guide's name is Aina. And uh, he said, Francine. 
I said, she talks to me and says, Aina. You know, this Francine is the name that your mother gave her. You know, I use the name she gives me. I mean, piss me off. Sylvia Brown's really cool. So is Chris. Folks, my adopted mother, they got me at 10 months old. She was so mean and abusive to me, physically. And when my dad died, the lie she was told by the other side, making her be who she is, it went away. It went away. I finally had the mother that I wanted to have. And when her spirit came out to talk to me, when she was, when you die, you start having faces going in and out with me. I'm, I'm just going to drop. But uh, uh, that's what the way most people are. Her body would be tired. She'd be, you know, she was sick. She had a long uh, exit, and she's falling away. And then uh, her spirit come out and her soul, and she came right to me. And I've said this before that my grandmother, my dad's uh, mom, would touch me right here. I love Grammy. She's so sweet to me. And then mom would touch me right here, and I, it wasn't the right place. I said, Graham? And I, I looked, and I said, ooh, this is my mother. I said, get the hell away from me. And she said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said, look, I know. I see you. You're beautiful. I love you. But while you're still stuck in that body, don't expect to feel my love because you're still, you know, beating the crap out of me, whatever. But we've been through hell. You know, you've given me hell, but it's not you, and I understand but please stop this. Leave me alone. But it's, it's it's sad. That's what can be done to you when you're in a body. You take the nice things about who you are. Your good days, when you, you just feel everything's nice and good, nice. That's who you are. That's who you are, folks. That's the frequencies, energy frequencies of who you are, except they're much higher vibration. You take a tuning fork, smack a tuning fork on something you listen to it. It's got that beautiful, nice pitch, and then you can you can put it in oil, and it goes to nothing. That's what it's like when spirits put in a body. Excuse me. Dragon, unicorn. People say, oh, Jay's locked in a fairy tale. He talks about unicorns and dragons. What a dip, dipshit, you know. And not many, almost no one says that. But that will come up again later after I'm gone. I don't give a shit. I really don't. They don't understand. I'm talking about frequencies and dragons with wings. Um, yeah, they used to be real in physical bodies here. Did you know that there was two Merlins? There was one in uh, uh, Scotland. And then there's the one in England. A long time ago. That was a hard flash. I was looking at something, trying to make sure I was correct. And that was a yes. We have all kinds of messages. People say, Jay's lights do that all the time. Well, I do get communication there. I've had folks come in. I've woken up. I'll tell you what. You want to see something funny? Um, I talk about folks coming in here from other planets. I've had starships come over my house and the walls rattle. The walls rattle from the frequencies that these things put up. And guess what? They're, they put certain kinds of energy in different crystals. And that's where they get the power to drive these huge ships. Okay? And uh, one time... Uh, um, I first started talking about her when uh, she came to Brzeu. And uh, she called herself Shiny. I mean, well, Brzeu named her Shiny because um, she's Serpoian. 
she's got the uh, silverish uh, um, type skin and everything to her so the gray silver folks they live on a planet with two suns serious radiation okay um, that's their natural development on their planet the truth is everywhere folks the sooner you go inside yourself and relax and let a little more of you out you're gonna find it for yourselves I don't tell you what you have to believe. I tell you you're cooler than you think you are, and I show you how to do it. Well, anyway, this uh, um, Huber Zhu was uh, uh, called shiny. Uh, um, uh, uh, we, um, we were talking with her. Deanne and I were talking with her, trying to get another name, and uh, she was pushing the name on us of uh, Serenity, which Serenity. Is what uh, so where that came from? Actually, um, a lot of this stuff, the way it's spelled with an A E and stuff after it, and, um, it's more towards uh, an English version of Greek. Gr the Greek language, um, Greek Latin, it's it's somewhat similar, but more Greek. That's l like a short form. Greek is a short form of Atlantean. And that's when a lot of them really started coming here. So that's why they use that thought process with me. And I've had a lot of lives. I was thought about that this morning when I woke up. That and dragon. I'm more dragon than I am anything else inside. That's what my energy is. It's plant, animal, uh, fey mixture of all the different energies its source I understand in the beginning people want to be this want to be that but it's the best thing you can be is who you are but be who you are <coughs> source is no better than nothing else source is the source of all your problems So much to say in no time, huh? Anyway, what I was saying about Srene, or Shiny, Srene. Um, she came to me, one, to me one time, and she had to pull the toxins uh, out of me. Uh, here, tell you what, hold on. Let's look at these marks. Okay, what we're looking at right now is part of my right uh, right forearm, kind of on the inside side of it. Right. If you're holding your arm, it's almost up to the left a little bit, but whatever. Um, that is a picture of my arm without just regular light. The mark, the larger mark, to, uh, a little bit above it to the left. That's, she had something on her fingertips, it's like a soft silicone or something, that had something on it. I don't know what material it was, but it had little needles on there, a few of them. But there was something about the material itself where it would really, I mean, literally pull toxins out of your body. It's like sucking them up. Exactly how it works, I don't know. I can tell you that's the basic process that was happening. Uh, that was with a bigger finger. And then a smaller finger um, next to it. It's the one that made that smaller um, indention, just the, the lower one, the one that's to the right. Now here's the same picture, but this is with the light turned, uh, the flash turned on on the camera. And it looks a little funny. There's, uh, you can see where there's some agitation but you really can't figure out what's going on. It looked really weird when it first started coming out. But uh, uh, right where the marks went, um, under my skin, there's a vein that goes in that direction. Anyway, that's when it, th this is at the time of the event, uh, January, February, March, 3-3, uh, 2017, March 3rd, 2017. 
Now this picture is what my arm looked like. Same spot, my arm, but it was on the 8th of March instead of the 3rd. The first picture was uh, the, on the 3rd. The first two pictures, that, that's when it happened on the 3rd. And then this picture here is, is what it looked like on the 8th. That's when it was completely circular, what you were seeing on there. And um, some of the, uh, you can see some agitation in some of the pores, but there's also a few spots, so there's a couple little needle marks. Whatever it is that's on this, this thing that she wears, it, it's not a glove. Something cover the fin covers the fingertips, and then they, um, on all the fingertips, and you know, they, they only have three large fingers, uh, three main figure, fingers. And then um, it comes down, the, the three outreaching fingers, and then they come off of that. And uh, um, it's, it's like a silicone with something going, some type of tubes that goes through it. Fluid can go through it. And then it goes into the palm and then goes up a, like some kind of like a hose or something. And uh, so that's, that's it. And then it... Uh, that was on the uh, March 8th, okay? That was five days after it happened. Now, this picture here is one I took today, 7-11, 2017, July 11th. Um, that's, what, uh, that's what my arm looks like. If you notice on some of the earlier shots, on the right-hand side going towards my elbow, you can barely see a white um, mark of some sort on my skin. Um, that's a scar that I have. Um, I got that when I was a kid when I was surfing. Um, the uh, surfboard, when I got in kind of close, hit a good wave, got a good ride, and then uh, I crashed, and then the surfboard went way down into the ground, into the water, um, and then came flying up in the air, and then when it came down, uh, the skeg of it, uh, the, what the, looks like a little rud rudder, it's called a skeg, came down and uh, hit me right on the arm. Uh, so it cut me open. So it left a little scar, big deal. But anyway, that, that'll just give you an idea of where that mark is. Now on both, on all of these um, uh, pictures, remember, uh, April 20th of 2000, I was in a work accident and just a freak, supposedly freak thing. It was done by the original first being female. Uh, the one that people call God, uh, literally uh, uh, had me doused with gasoline, lit on fire. And that right arm is, the skin and everything is messed up from that. 30% uh, of my body was bad, second and third degree burns. And that was done to help me. That wasn't done to hurt me or anything. That wasn't an attack. She was going to be taking some of my biofluids for making these children. And she already had my permission. I went into her head and I told her physically so she could hear it for sure. I didn't need to, but I was making a point. A lot of you that get cranked up, you're getting a lot of visitation. A lot of you are seeing it. Um, and folks, uh, those of you that have sent the DNA stuff in, I'm about to get to that, okay? I'm just, uh, I got taken away from that just for a little bit. I'll put it all out here really soon. I'm doing everything I can. I'm, I keep getting stronger, my abilities but the body keeps falling apart more. Coming and going at the same time, it's pretty funny. I enjoy my moments to have a smile on my face because I don't have many. Finally, I'm about to do my job. I'm very anxious to go to work and as myself, doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm very tired being stuck in this body. Not just tired of being here, just the body's tired, man. It's sick. <coughs> anyway.
This video is about y'all. I don't know what else to do other than help you understand who you are. I've cranked you up. I, I mean, I've proven stuff with medical equipment, now scientists. But they're working on it. The proof shouldn't come out from my manipulating DNA. They shouldn't be finished with their uh, all their proof, all of it. Remember, they got to prove things over and over again. It's the quote-unquote modified scientific method. But this scientist, he's into it. I cranked him up. I need to talk to him again, too. And he's the lead scientist in the group. So. It's like I said, he's not on government grants. There's huge companies, like the size of Apple and Ferrari, that actually back him. Invest in him. Okay? When he puts out a paper, his, his, when he re releases his, his information... It'll be exact, and it'll be con it'll be consumed as truth, which it is. And all that is not to prove anything about me, except that I could do that. It's to prove who you are. It's to prove the metaphysical is not just real; it's most of what's around. The physical is is a small thing. The physical dimension, as it stands, is the third dimension. There's three major dimensions, and then there's smaller ones everywhere. It, it's a small part of what's out there. Second dimension is huge. Third's not small either, but the second one is huge. That's where everyone has to live when they're not in the body. And when you're not in the body, man, you're like, <laughs> you come out of the body, you expand big time. So... There's less than 40 people on this planet that can put their energy inside a body and they're from the fifth wave of souls. This stone right here, this little piece of star resonite, if I had a scale right here, I'd weigh it. Actually, I do. Hold on, one second. Okay. I like to show you all as much as I can not because I want to prove to someone who says, I don't believe it's true. They can go screw themselves, okay? They're, they're not important to me. Uh, uh, eh. Their thought process isn't important to me. Who they are inside is, okay? What they are physically is important. But screw them, okay? This is not for them. They'll never put it to any use for themselves. And that's what it's about. These little scales, you get them everywhere. I've used them for darts. When I was a kid, I used to use bigger ones for something else. Anyway, you put them on a level surface. Turn it on. It should equal out to zero. Then you can take a gram actual. Um, I think this is the 10 gram. This little 10 gram weight. Okay, you put it on there. We have like, I don't know how many sets of weights. It goes all the way up to a kilogram. 10 grams, 10.0 grams, okay? It measures to the uh, hundredth of a gram, but it reads out into the tenth of a gram. All right, so that means we're on par. Now, this piece is star essenite. Uh, pretty much all the, crystal, all the star essenite I have over here anymore, Deanna has over here, it's all hers, is uh, crystal, high crystal. I mean, star essenite is crystal, but I mean, very strong high crystal. It came from a vein, um... You can find essenite and uh, star essenite. You can find essenite everywhere, not, almost everywhere, not really. Um, a lot of it around the Kentucky and North Carolina area. Um, that's where they say the dinosaur killer came in. It, it, you know, they're actually finding out now in caves where there's uh, those pictures that the uh, older people put in there, the earlier people for each age, where there's men literally with a spear fighting dinosaurs. Okay, and they've done their aging thing to find out, shit, this is real. Carbon dating, whatever. Anyway, this piece, just take a look at the size of the piece, okay? What is this way? Uh, hold on, here we go again. I waited too long. I check it after every time, okay? 
Okay, 10 grams. 10.0. Alright, that's 19.6 grams. Okay? 19.6. If you have a piece, this is a good size piece to have. But if you have a piece that's two-thirds of this, that's strong energy in you. That's what you need to crank you up. My advice, you want to get cranked up, have two pieces over 10 grams, put one in each pocket. Dan is going to start tumbling this stuff again. I've been tumbling stone for years. Um, the more quartz it has in it, the shinier you can make it. You see through and everything else. The harder it is, the easier it is to uh, polish. Let's see, put that up here. Um, anyway, this isn't about polishing stone. This is about who you really are. Those of you, when you start to feel um, stone energy, and folks, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not any more than relaxing. Relax your energy, hold on to the stone, and freely open yourself to anything that the, to let the stone energy inside you, and no one's going to get hurt, unless you hold us some get a hold of some uranium that's been activated processed okay so it won't we won't even be a rock anymore um it, unless you hold that you're not going to hurt yourself all you do is enhance yourself this star is in any stone lapis you hold on a lapis and relax allow it to flow into you you don't if you want to say it out loud but you don't have to just hold on a stone and say all right honey let's see what you got or whatever and then Boom, you start feeling it. Uh, once, you've done, once you've made that affirmation a few times, and that's how you feel in your heart, that's how the, your thought process in your brain, you touch a stone, whatever's in it is going to come into you. Moldavite, part of another planet, beautiful stone. People, your spirit, sentient energy, and you have your own very special energy flow off you. It's called an aura. People see it as, when people see the colors and stuff in it, that's the byproduct, the auric expression. Um, I've got a DVD on that. It's got a picture of me standing, uh, leaning against a, uh, uh, the wooden gate down at the Chattahoochee River. Uh, energy uh, uh, frequencies and their auras. The color, the aura, what they call the aura, that's just the byproduct, the auric expression of the frequencies involved in that person. The one you've seen me with this light green, there's a medium uh, deep light green coming off of me. I was sick at the time. My body was working on healing itself. But the lighter green, that's heart energy, that's spirit, spiritual healing. All of you have been going through hell, man. We want to remember the good days as much as we can because you know what? It keeps us going, doesn't it? Anyway. I need to bring this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, this video to an end. Uh, folks, this has always been about you. That's, it's really frustrating uh, that things are the way they are. It's really frustrating that I can't do more because I want to. Um, it's frustrating. I can't get more cooperation from the other side, but at least I know they are doing everything that they possibly know to do. The original first being a male and female ran everything, every life. Nothing else ever ran anything. <coughs> so now good stuff that's trying to do stuff that hasn't had a lot of lives, they don't, they don't know what they're doing. <coughs> Excuse me, it doesn't mean that they can't do it, but it does mean that it takes time to learn. Original first being male and female, they, they went through that too. <clears throat> this is some blackened star essonite that was tumbled and most of the, uh, that black stuff is off of it, mica, stuff like that. Most of that is off of it, but you see how softer it is, but you can still see it shine. Right here, bring it back towards the face. 
A lot of cameras have face, have face recognition and it puts the stone out of whack. So, tell you what, good heart energy, take some stars. And you don't need a piece this big. <coughs> it's a smaller piece. <coughs> I got to go and I'm being, I'm literally at, what am I saying? My body's pushing me. Get off the damn um, internet uh, video. Star Essenite. Beautiful piece of ruby. This thing's huge for ruby. That beautiful purple color with a little more depth to it, a little more uh, deeper color, that's the natural aura, auric expression of strong heart frequencies, okay? Put the two of them together. Get your fingertips to touch as much as the uh, both stones as possible. <sighs> Relax. I take a deep breath to relax. And then I just wait. And then I took another <clears throat> a full breath. And that's because my heart's energized. So, it's a nice feeling. <clears throat> anyway, as I'm telling myself, time to tell you, I got to go... Uh, Gorilla is strong energy. That's heart. That's family. Folks, you you are spirit, sentient energy locked inside a vehicle with another person that happens to be planetary essence. Female. Mostly female. So, <clears throat> you want to know about yourself? Buy the books by creation book one uh creation its beginning and your origin what came first chicken or the egg everything else you could basically the thought process you need to understand most everything is in there as far as your origin it'll it, everything you need about your origins in there okay you might have a little question here and there if you relax you'll find it for yourself those shamanic journey um uh, spheres that i make help you to relax and be set your frequencies properly so that you can actually go out and find something for yourself and some of the stone energy in there activates different parts of your brain so you can actually travel there uh, the Merlin spheres <coughs> are becoming excuse me becoming more popular because the Merlin sphere literally uh, unifies your whole body makes you feel as one Sphere order still coming in. That's why I've got I don't know somewhere about I don't I don't know I'm not gonna count them but 130 140 containers of stone in there, all kinds of different stone everywhere. Stone is like people too; it's got different frequencies. So, anyway. Um, Folks, love you, man. Oh, before I go, I'm talking to you about understanding. Hoping you'll understand more. First thing I should have told you. <coughs> one of the first... <coughs> one of the first things I should have said. This stone is celestite. This works very strong, very well with the hypothalamus gland in its immediate region, in your brain. That is where, between that and the heart, is where understanding comes from. You can get a piece of some good AAA grade rhodonite, okay? It's gonna have black in it, that's strong, that's strength, and then it's got beautiful, beautiful pink, if you can see it in, well, if you can see it in there, it's beautiful. And then celestite, this is for the heart and strengthening of the heart, which has all other energies inside it. And then a hypothalamus, which has exactly all the other energies inside it. That's understanding. Okay? These two stones will help you so much in understanding. There's one other thing. Uh... <sighs> 
Oh, damn it. I've got a little outstanding joke. As I get older, of all the things I've lost, I miss my mind the most. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <coughs> Here it is. This is a DVD I was talking about for understanding auric expressions. You are a sentient, your, your spirit, which is sentient energy, you are an accumulation of different frequencies and different power levels. Okay, um, different, different, you're an assortment of different frequencies, each of them having a specific power level in it. More this, more that. That's the DVD. I believe it's a, um, maybe three pages, two, three pages uh, that's in there <coughs> where I took the different colors that are in there. The auric expressions, a byproduct of the frequency itself, and I gave you the meaning for it. And as you awaken, guess what you're going to find? You're going to find out that I'm right. So, what's that? A yay, Jay? No. No, it's not. It's a look at what you can understand now. So, <clears throat> uh, once I get other really important things done and I am moving along, um, I hope to get out a really good stone video and DVD and a really good uh, animal uh, essence DVD. The strongest spirit guides you've had by far all your lives have been your animal essence. When I say the strongest, I'm talking about having the most honorable. They're, they, they, they'll never lie. They don't lie. You talk to your animal guide, they won't lie. Now, you can ask them, when is this going to happen for me in the future? The future's changing. They will tell you exactly what's in store for you, what's set up there. And when that doesn't happen, don't blame them. Because you knew better, or you should have known better, or you're learning that the future is continually changing because there's somebody making it. Oh, I get so frustrated, man. All I want is for you to understand, but that's no easy thing. I've pretty much devoted my life to that, to understanding and help others with the same. Anyway, folks, look. <clears throat> It's important that you understand who you are. You don't have to. You're going to finish your body and leave and be yourself again. And you're not going back in the body right away. None of you are. Those of you that care, you want to be all that you are. You want to be your real self. Those of you that care are the leaders. And you'll be teaching your children who are leaders. We're here because we have heart energy. Because we care. And that's what makes us so damn strong. I know a lot more beautiful souls running around in number than I do source. Again, that brings me sadness. But it's all stuff that's been done to us by the original first being male and female. And they're completely dead, gone, deleted. So they're no longer a problem. You all have freedom. You have no idea yet. Also, uh, before I go, as you're waking up, two stones that can really help you. This is some raw Amazonite. Just take a moment look at the stone, please. Thank you. This is what it's like tumbled. It's got a little piece of something, a little piece of uh, uh, crust or something on it. This stone is high vibration and it's cleansing. It has the it has the ability to clean to separate other frequencies in you that really aren't part of you. It helps you with abuse frequencies that build up, uh, plus other stuff that doesn't need to be there that might be bugging you. Negativity does not like it. 
And then here's black tourmaline, which literally makes your energy slippery so that other frequencies can't bother you. So when you have black tourmaline to make your own energy slippery, and then some Amazonite, that literally, it's like it vibrates it off of you. This makes you slippery. This vibrates it, pushing it off of you. Put these two together, you're kicking butt. And then you take a piece of star, star Essenite. It's softer edges when it's tumbled. See how this is softer? And then this has got rough ports on it. It's crystal, folks. Okay? That's why Deanna already knows she needs to tumble a bunch more of that, so we will. Uh, Deanna knows how to make the spheres, everything else, okay? And she's not the only one, you know, Siobhan, uh, Bijou, uh, all, all the rest of them uh, that have been doing this stuff for a while, they are immediately told how to do something they don't know, okay? So anyway, you put these three together, that powers you, what makes you stronger, activates these stones, making them stronger, plus it powers you up. Star Essenite will increase the flow of energy in your body over... 10 times, that's over a thousand percent. You want to clear your chakras? Bingo. I just call them energy fields. That's what they are. They're spirit, they're fields of energy within your body. These three stones. Anyway, folks, that's, uh, that's that. Let's get out of here. Um, I didn't make this video because I want to yell at anyone. I wanted to make this video because, damn it, you need to know who the hell you are. You need to learn how to have faith in yourself. You need to understand what you are as I do. It's a simple way, the truth. When you come to the truth, your tr the truth you have, the truth you understand is the truth that you understand for yourself. It's a combination of your heart and your hypothalamus working together. You find this for yourself. You receive data, you consume it, and then you understand it. And the more things you understand, the more understandings you have, the greater your wisdom. Okay? And when you understand something for yourself, then you know for yourself. And that might change a little here and there. But the more you become awake, the more you become yourself, the more you'll understand that what I'm telling you is real. And then you start finding it easier to consume the information I'm giving you. And then you use it. For who? For yourself and hopefully someone else. It ain't for me. It ain't for me. It's for everyone else. Those of you that are ready and wanting to understand, you're, you're the ones that are here to help others, and thank you for that. We're in bodies, folks. We can't do but certain things, but you have more freedom than you've ever had before. And I know a lot of you are going to do some really cool stuff. And I'll be on the other side helping out in a big way. A lot of you know that already. What matters is that you become yourself and follow your heart. Everything else will fall in place. Folks, love you, man. Have a good one.